What's up everyone? Karate Combat League President Adam Kovac here. Welcome to the holiday special. We're bringing you four awesome fights, two title fights, two huge chaos from season two. And the best of it all, it's gonna be commentated by none else than the superstar, the legend, Joanna Jedzic. Yes, you heard it right. Joanna is already here waiting for you guys. Also, past Josh, Joanna is gonna live chat with you on the YouTube comment section. So, guys, enjoy, happy Thanksgiving, and uh, let's go! Welcome to Karate Combat, where you are going to see some of the best fights, not just on this world, but any other that we can think of. Welcome! We have an incredible show for you today, which includes a title fight. Yes, the 75 kilo golden belt is on the line. This golden belt, in fact, and is between American Josh Quayhagen and Brit Jerome Brown. At the top of tonight's card, our 67 kilo golden belt is on the line Woo! as the champion, Edgar Screevers, takes on the challenger, Mirza Tebuweb. Well. Let's explain some more about the fights coming up. That <laughs> title fight, Jerome Brown, the Brown Bear, taking on American, Josh Quahagan. Brown, he calls himself the smart brawler, and also like a karate kid, sweep the leg, Johnny. Well, he loves sweeps, he loves takedowns, and he likes to use his reach. So that's what we're going to see tonight. But Quahagan, Quahagan, man, you can throw everything at this guy. Oh gosh, I'm super excited. I just watched the intro of Karate Combat and I feel like in the game, so I'm expecting fireworks. I'm super excited to watch the fights and real warriors. I really feel like I'm, I'm, I'm going to explode, so I know what the fighters uh, fighters feel. I don't get nervous when I'm going into the fight, but I'm super excited when another people fighting and I'm super, super excited to watch my first karate uh, combat uh, show. I wake up early, well, when I do wake up early. Wow, I love to, seeing to the fighters, the There's, uh, their families, stories, what they do, what they like outside the gym, outside the mat. I'm super excited. I always love to tell my story and and uh, I always want people to see different, uh, different genre, not only the fighter, because there is something more about us than only uh, the, the sport violence, uh, the martial art. The martial art. And ever since then, I love hearing the stories, fight. seeing the fighters. Part of Islam, North London. Some and I love English London. accent. I could fall in love with a guy from England. It's eat or be eaten. <laughs> but let's see what he got. Sure. What he got on the mat. Guys that will take your trainers. Self defense is a vital necessity if you're from where I'm from. My nan and dad enrolled us into a local karate school. He escalated and quickly with us performing on the main stage. Wow, he is fast. Is That's impressive. I, hated the taste I love all the karate the karate kicks. They're they are really so fast. The they throw completely. so many combinations. I know there is less punches to the head, but I hope the karate guys will know how to do it. And I wouldn't care much they have to be focused on so many things. It's passion. not that difficult, but it's not also easy to learn takedowns, boxing, but definitely it's more difficult to put it all together. So if there are karate guys, they had to put tons of work to uh, make it all together, to put it all together. Kanye West's latest album. Wow, a model and a fighter. Good combination. I like it. I've always been that young blowout. But karate is about speed, timing, technique, and being smart. Yeah. 
and I don't get hit. This is where I dominate. Hit and don't get hit. Let's see, let's see what you got, boy. Before he knows it, he'll be sleeping and I'll have my hand raised. So bring your A game. We won't be ready. Nice. I love the I love the I love the confidence, but I love the respect to his opponent. So we have a war between English and the American boy. Family, faith, and hard work. Life down here is simple, man. We cherish the simple things. People might call it Cajun country, swamp country, whatever. I think of it as God's country. So we're having in this fight. We're having totally different fighters one is the model the handsome boy and the other is the uh, family family man traditional karate with boxing and kickboxing with wife and kids but they both are very dedicated i can see it but let's see who is going to win the handsome or the more humble guy we work hard in almost everything we do back in college i was partying too hard drinking too much i had some trouble with the law my cousin was on a dark path himself. We joined forces. He came in to help me start a gym. He was bringing me to church all the time, so he brought me back to church. Wow, what a beautiful story. Was a I love it. As a former professional MMA fighter, I didn't think these karate guys could stand what I had. But man, was I humbled. It was the wake up call I needed. A humbling experience can be a gift, making you come back harder and stronger than you ever imagined. Nice, love Someone it. Karate is all about being humble. Your you're actually healing them because you're revealing a hole and they get to go back and fix it. These words always stuck with me. The real training's out here. This is where I train my mind. This is peace. My brother likes to tag along, fishing, doing his redneck things, keep an eye out for gators. I like to get my mind right. That's everyone's toughest opponent. So when Jesus would get fed up with people, he'd go into the wilderness, spend some time with God, find his peace again, and go up to the mountainside. Throughout history, people have gone into the wilderness to recharge. It's what I like to do. It gets me ready for the gym, the cage, the pit, the business world. I take great joy in the struggle. That's Romans 5.3. Live my life by nice. It's very important to keep your head out of the gym sometimes. Your teammates, coaches, it's important to refresh, reset your body, your mind, and just get stronger every day to the gym and train even harder. So much going on in this 75 kilo title fight. Of course, we don't have a 75 kilo champion. This is the first person, whoever wins, is going to be the first person to hold that gold belt. What does that mean to them? It means everything. I would be li like to be the first person, the first person to land it on the moon, you know, and now go to Mars. And this is a portal who has the first belt in that weight class. Yeah. So, yeah. Then they get to be the one who has to step up and defend it. Uh, 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 hopefully successfully defending it. Yeah, a lot of people say, you know, you've really got to earn a title defense to, to really claim that belt. Yeah, well, both these guys are on winning streak, you know, both of all the last three fights. They're both pretty much the guys the best in the division. So, yeah, I say that's okay. <laughs> yeah. Super excited for this fight. Three wins on each side. Someone, someone have to lose tonight. Let's see who is going to be. Josh nice. Hagen, he's a good man. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to send him back to Louisiana with a sore head. It's about time <laughs> for the bell. I like the confidence. I like the confidence. Ever since I got into karate combat, I, I knew this belt was mine. I wanted it. I was going for it. And um, karate combat was looking to have a title soon. So I, I called him out. I wanted to fight him. I wanted to show that outwork him. And I want to beat him in there. I want him to make him eat his words. So that's the plan. Oh gosh, I feel like in the game. Cannot wait, cannot wait. Like old school times. In the red corner and the preacher, Josh Quay Hagen in the blue corner. Every kid. Every kid starts with karate. Zero England. Three and O with karate combat there. Also important to know he is four inches taller than his opponent. He's going to take a sizable reach advantage. Joshua Quinn, the breacher from USA. 
Troy Hagen also a good record, 3-1, and one, lots of momentum coming into this one, but he is the shorter fighter, so he's going to have to get inside quickly. Fighters. They have to feel like a gladiators. Nice. Let's go, guys. We're excited. If they need them, three minutes per round, and we're underway in round number one. Black pants for Josh Coyhagen, white pants for Jerome Brown, and instantly, Bass, that reach advantage, very obvious. Yeah, nice side kick there, and an open stance here we got. That means that one is the south the other one is orthodox. Yeah, watch for uh, that rear leg or rear hand. To just you can see the respect up. between these two, but... Nice little low calf kick. They're reading, they're reading, yeah. both of them. They're reading each other. But, wow. I will tell you not to do that. That's how he broke his shin. You know, we mentioned in uh, some of the earlier talking points. I don't know what to expect. I expect big KO in this fight. Wow. Nice. The Rome is really good. Did you see that? how he let him miss? That was beautiful. Yeah, see, that's the wall. That's it. Missed by an inch, missed by a You can mile. see the high difference. Doing a great job but there. Both of them are doing a great job. They're reading each other. Nice. He's going to have a lot of time of fighting inside. Good farm. Joshua landed some nice left hand. That inside low kick across pass. Not something we've seen too much uh, in the last few fights. I feel like I would play. It's like a game. Reverse punch. Suki, boom, boom, boom. There we go again. Well, Brown likes that kick. Just about halfway through this opening stanza. 90 nice. I like the punches the uh, to the head. And again, the range. We know that in the traditional character there is no punches to the head, but so it's difficult for the or original traditional karate fighters to to hit the face because they don't they don't used to. But that's nice. Makes this fight even more excited to get out of there again. Yeah, you can't just exciting. You've really got to drive it. Yep. Make him aware. I, you know, it, if I would kick it on the defense, I could just as hard as I can on the defense. Just let him know that they better block it. You know, try to get inside. Let's go, boys. Let's go. We can do more. Left hand from Hagen. It's really put on work. Put on work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go right there. You see him shaking it. <laughs> it's like power. There are more of a split wide stance for Brown. A little bit lighter on the feet. Slightly more squared stance. For Quay Hagen. I think Brown is smart to do the side kicks. And not run nice, kick. nice Quay side kick. I love the side kick. Wow. Kick. He just missed that, that. that. high kick. They fire up, they fire up. Wow. Nice. This is only round number one, guys. This is awesome. <laughs> well, we got 10 seconds left. There is title on the line. Judges have got to look at on off, want to lose, Both but they're doing a good job. Nice, good wow. first round. Well, that is the end of the first round. I love it. I love it. Beautiful first. That's a very hard one. Like a gladiator. Both gladiators. Guys landing, both guys coming forward. Let's take a look at some of our replays here. Bass, talk us through those exchanges. Yep. I have a feeling on the second round, one of them going to fire up even more. Very nice. Line to the left hook. Now he stands up immediately moving. <laughs> that was, that was like Gosh, I feel like I want to fight. Yeah. Maybe I should try karate yeah, combat really one day. Just, uh, again, staying in the pocket, following Whoa. up there, and almost got clipped. And I love that the right nice. hand with the right straight immediately afterwards. I love that he mixed up the tempo there. I love the left hook from right Joshua. Yeah. And they were throwing power shots at each other there. He was more chasing there we see our pretty Josh boy. Hagen in the corner. Nice upright stance, trying to get those fresh breaths That's in. Like Jerome Brown, of course, equally yeah, looking very, very calm. But Josh looks really, really calm, uh, calm and focused. Stamina to go through a potential full nice, they're ready. Let's go, guys. Are you ready, sir? Are you ready? Right side. The referee gets us underway. Another three minutes of action here at Karate Combat. Nice, good job. Switch yeah, I expected Koye to the counter that. I think he's kind of waiting for a roundhouse kick, a single roundhouse kick, which he can come in and drop that right hand there, right there that he's throwing. Yeah, connected oh. nicely. No! Oh gosh! What happened here? Able to hold off yeah. long enough. Not too long, not too long. On the ground. 
Let's see the kicks. And hands. Much more traditional boxing stance for Josh Koi Hager. Yep, there we go. That's the American uh, karate. He's blending two styles together. That's it, really using that lead shoulder to help. Brown is keeping more on this stance here. Yeah, Joshua has this boxing stance, chasing more, chasing more. But Brown could use his reach even more. Nice. Oh! Wow, 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 they fire up. Let's go, boys. Wow, what a high kick. That's pretty, boy. You know what they're not doing, Bass? They're saying, you know what? We're not going to clinch. Even when we get close, we're going to... Wow! What an uppercut. landed a big uppercut there. They're just throwing punches. Love it. Lo I love the second hand. Love it, love it. But... Good job, seven. guys. Wow! That's dangerous. I think. Yeah, but you see, that's when he came back with the counter. I was kind of expecting that. And he cannot do that on a side kick on a yoga gear. I love the belt. The belt looks so good. I know they are very focused to get it. Get it, get it, get it. Tonight. Watch your belt, you can't counter. So. Mohegan again with the center of the pit. Good pit control for him. That's going to help him on the scorecards. Nice. Oh. Nice. The uppercuts are good. Well, he landed the first one he threw, and it was on the butt. I snapped the hat from uh, Quay Hagen back, but he didn't even flinch. Look at that. Nice. Nice cross. to find the target back. Beautiful. Oh, again. Quay Hagen starting to walk into a few of these now. I love the scenery. I would feel they're like in the game. Super excited, super excited. Wow! Joshua landed some nice hooks. The end of the round, the end of the round, the end of the round. I would say. They throwing punches. Nice! He hurt him. One was Brown. Landed again with a good fight, but that of course passes. Why we're not judges? We just get to talk about exactly. The fight. And I would never want to be a judge as well. It's, it's, it's just very hard. What yeah. do I start to do with the lady? Nice. Very good second round. Nice, nice, nice. End of the second round there. Continuous action throughout. Jerome Brown, Josh Quay Hagen. Had three more to go. It's starting to become a real war of attrition as we look back on some of the action from that second round. The uppercuts were very good. Quay Hagen really started to find his time. From Josh. He's getting closer while he tripped here. But I feel like he could use his uh, reach even more. He's taller. He's stronger. Yeah, bigger reach is really starting to repetitively find the target now. yeah it's just nice. not smart but like i said you know to fight inside the reach of your opponent you need a lot of stamina because if this guy moves backwards you got to constantly move forward 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 both of them are very well prepared good condition they fire it up Let's see what's going to happen in the third round. That's a really hard move to throw as well. You know, it's interesting, Bass. Both these guys have slightly different reasons for fighting. Jordan Brown said to us, fighting is fun. Josh Quay Hagen uses it to help get across a personal growth message. Let's go, let's go. We're underway in the third round here. Yep. And again, Brown on the outside trying to find a home for those kicks. So far, the fight is very close. It's good to tell who is winning the fight. That's the left side of the opponent. For us, for him, right. He's still very motivated, very focused. I love it. I love the focus. Well, Josh has been thrown leggings from the outside, but you know, since they're both in an open, uh, it's an open stance, you cannot really generate a lot of power. So. I don't know if that's hurt or otherwise maybe something happened to it. Let's see. You never know. Shin on shin can go a little bit awry sometimes. There's not so much. But at least that's a There's not so many takedowns, but... Wow, what a good punch! Whoa, whoa! Five seconds to rain down punches. 
Is the fight over? Not yet. Good, Joshua. Let's go. Chase him more. Chase him more. Let's go. I like the pretty boy, but... Wow! Fire up! Backing down an inch. Nice, nice. Yeah, I see it too. Nice. There's the front kick, catch of the kick. That's a nice legal takedown from Jerome Brown. That's going to help him on the judges' scorecards. Stand up. Let's go. Hagen quickly back up, though. Oh, nice, nice. Again, catch of the kick. They go for it. They go for it. Both of them. I love it. Good inside head position for Brown. Again, Quay Hagen closes quickly. Yeah. Body shots. They know they have to give their best to win the fight. Let's go. Joshua had a very bad, very good, very good beginning of the fight. But Brown is standing his ground. Beautiful. Beautiful. Joshua got tired. But wow, he's still throwing. You know, two more rounds after this. Look at the gets a right straight to the body. Nice. And he landed nice. Again, nice. Yeah, Jerome Brown starting to struggle here. Yeah. Yeah, and Koi Hagen should step back a little tiny bit because he cannot push Ooh. himself out. And that's it. That up. Nice. What well, a great victory. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. He put on a hell of a work in the third round. He won. Beautiful. Well deserved. Well Man, deserved. So we're having mean, a champion. That champ. Beautiful. Side. Well deserved. The right kick to the spleen. Yeah, you, you can see just a little bit obvious from Brown starting to lean over. Wow. Those exchanges and once Exciting fight. Absolutely brutal. Boom, boom. Let's take a look at some of the replays. Nice. The All right, here we go. The clinch, body shot, body shot. And yeah. then he starts wrapping it up with punches to the head. Brown right. didn't use his reach so very well. On the head. Going back to the body again. Nice kick there in between. Another body shot. That that Ooh. right straight to the body with the left hook to the head. That he was successful with twice. Now he really cool. set it up the second time he was doing it. I think it landed. And it shows you how tired Brown was. He couldn't even find the clinch position to try and slow Quay Hagen down. Well, you know, once you uh, when you breathe in and you get hit, you can do 5,000 sit-ups a day. You breathe Love in, you it. get hit, you go down. That's it, you know? And once you start getting tired, well, you almost can't control your breathing anymore. So that's the moment to go for the body. And, you know, if that right straight to the body, or that just... I believe he broke him. He broke him. Yeah. Brown was broken. Very hard. You can be tough what you want, but man. Yeah, it takes a lot of steam out. So, Mask, we're just seeing Jerome Brown for medical caution more than anything is going to be taken out of the pit. Here. I hope he's he's going to be well. Brown, but I feel like mentally it's tough for him. For Ladies and gentlemen. The winner is with a standing Tikio, the blue Joshua. Beautiful. Golden belt winner. Well deserved, Joshua. Well deserved. President Adam Kovacs tying one of our coveted gold. The preacher. So we're having a TKO. That's nice. I want to see more fights like this. Too bad, you know, even when they From the it, first second till the end, the you fight know, was yeah, really, belt. really good. Two belts. That's true. Nice. Yeah, Beautiful. Well deserved. Woo! Well, I'm just going feels. to reiterate the words shouted by your brother just now, but hey, that does look pretty on you, he said. Thank you. Uh, it feels pretty, you know. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it does cool look good. Going on. So I, I will say this, that... uh. I've won some fights and lost some fights, and uh, <laughs> it's exciting. The crowd love you. Uh, yeah. uh, but, but my true victory was won over 2,000 years ago. I fight with a lot of peace because of, uh, I put God first, and, and man, it's just a beautiful thing. I get to fight in here with joy, nice. win or lose. God is good. Good preacher. Nice words. Really good man. Great fighter. How did you 
Good run model for his kids. Nice, love it. The best I've ever seen him. I feel like he came ready really good. So I, I wanted to be patient and not get carried away. Sometimes when I get hit, I get into a brawl. Um, and sometimes that's uh, been a bad thing. So I wanted to be patient. I knew it wasn't, uh, it wasn't going to outwork me. I was going to be there for five or ten rounds, however long they wanted to let the clock go. So uh, I just wanted to be patient at the beginning. And I knew I'd break him at the v in the middle. Of the end love it. The reach and being patient, staying patient. We saw him fatigue a little. Did that um, fill you with confidence? And succeed at the end. That's beautiful. You know, it was only going to get worse from there, you know, for him. So uh, I think he got out maybe at a good time because I was. They were reading each other in the first round. Either me or him died. But this is what champion is talking about: staying patient till the end, till the end, and get the victory. Get your hand. Well, right. I'll be the target. You know, I want to I wanna keep getting better. There's so much uh, so I talk to boss about it before. You got to live like you win and learn like you lost. And there's a lot to learn from uh, and get at, better at. And uh, I know I got some guys chasing me, so I got to get better. And, uh, Great words. Is it easy to win the belt, but definitely it's more difficult to thank the champion defending the belt. And, but Joshua seems like a smart guy, smart man, very humble. Great athlete, and he's going to work hard to keep and keep his belt with him all the time. Nice, beautiful work. You know, yes, you know, he said it. I would like to have the target on my back. You know what? That keeps you an honest man because you got to keep it training all the time. There's no time for partying, nothing else. Your focus needs to be just on your life, on your karate life. Yeah, Josh Quay Hagen. Beautiful words, nice. He is a very nice character just to talk to in general, and really, trust me when I say this, he uh, he talks the talk and walks the walk. The Otis is great. We've got former Greek amphibious special forces, Stefano Rapakos. He's taking on the Black Diamond, Daniel Viveros, who's looking for his first win in the pit. Yeah, Rapakos worked hard on stamina and technique, and those are two very important things. I mean, come on, technique, you want to look good while you knock somebody out. The stamina, of course, you want to keep doing it over and over again. It's Viveros, he said that he only trained with three people. And I said, maybe that could be a problem. He said, no, that's not going to be a problem. I'm super pumped for the second fight. My two-inch reach advantage in my hands and my three-inch. Fast route and big kicks. Inspiration. First EFC champion from Europe. Beautiful. I spent two years in Holland. I really love his homeland. How did Bass? <laughs> Me da paz. A veces la ciudad puede volverse un tanto caótica, así que disfruto el silencio de este lugar. Bueno, vengo desde abajo. Mi familia no tenía mucho dinero, así que tuvo que emigrar para buscar. Came trabajo. from nothing, from zero to hero, from nothing to something. That's better. Y ellos me ayudaron a ser la persona que soy hoy. Actually, I did three or five trainings, karate trainings, karate kyokushin. Back in the day, in my hometown in Olsztyn, Poland, a friend of mine is in one of the best gyms in Poland, and he always wanted me to join the team and, and compete in karate, but if I was younger, I always wanted to train martial arts. I started very late when I was 16. And I always wanted my, my, my father to take me there, but it didn't happen. I had to do it on my own when I was 16, but uh, I always like uh, karate people, karate in general. They are tough people and I really love it. I love how tough they are mentally, how humble. They are very good people. The first thing you learn in karate isn't how to kick and hurt another person, but it's how to be humble and help people. I love it. I love the kicks, the power, the speed. Nice. Karate combat is great, great combination. Make karate big, because I feel like karate been always and forever with us. Always. Great idea. I want more people to see and feel like in the game. Stefan Rupakos taking on the Black Diamond, Daniel Viveros. Black Diamond. Great 
Grace, currently Shotokan. We have an Ecuador Shotokan second degree. Nice. Βλέψουμε για να πετύχουμε τον όνειρό μας. Δεν υπάρχει χρόνος για ξεκούραση, για χαλάρωση. Πρέπει να δουλεύουμε, πρέπει να... Lighter weight, I'm expecting Φιστές, even more speed in the first fight. Very often people disrespect the lower divisions, the lighter divisions, but because there is not that many chaos. But I love watching light guys. Uh, because there is more speed, more technique, there is always action going on. I'm expecting a good fight. KO, let's see. Through the portal, they come. Go both. Stefano Rapakos in the red corner, Daniel Viveros in the blue corner. Rapakos is going to try to push the fight, and Viveros will use his reach advantage. Let's see if it's going to work out. Gosh, I have to be there next time. After the whole COVID situation, I want to go to one of the karate combat shows and support the fighters. Right there. Special forces. Beautiful. So he lost two fights in karate combat, but he has nothing to lose. But much more to prove. Fighters. And I hope he's in a good disposition today, tonight. Let's go, boys. Round one, you ready? You ready? Round one. A referee brings them together, and we are underway. Touch of gloves. White pants for Rupakos, black pants for Viviros. Bass just trying to get that range set early. Stefanos in wide. Inside kicks, which is a very dangerous thing to do because Thanks. you cannot kick nice. the thighs, you have to kick the lower. Long so position, great high kick so from Daniel. Somebody break a shin bone before, so I don't think they're going to throw. Yeah, interesting stance, uh, clash here, open sides facing each other, of course, the southpaw for Viveros. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I was, you know, straight to the body, right front kick, so for the southpaw, that is... Nice! The kicks are very effective. Good punches from, from guys, Daniel. Very, very good punch. Whatever one guy can do, the other can do in mirror image. I love the way, the way they switch the position. They, in karate, you can fight from both. Sometimes for us, in boxers, Muay Thai fighters, and May fighters, it's more difficult. We have to put tons of work to learn the new position. Yokogiri, as they call it. Very tight on those punches from Viveros. Got that left hand nice and high bass, really rolling that shoulder up. Yeah, he's smart. He's doing good. He's blading also. It's a thinner target for the front kicks. Switching stance here by Rupakas now. He's going to a southpaw as well. Take down, beautiful. Wow, good take down from Daniel. What? It's all over. What a quick fight. Nice, great victory. Wow. Oh, he slammed him like this. Oh, yeah, no. Good for him. He's one and two. In karate combat. Wow. That's a good one. Good takedown. Great ground and pound. Great reaction. Reaction. Wow. Let's see. One more time. Dang, body lock. Take no. Wow, what a slam. Gosh. Wow. I feel like from a clinch. You he was out after the slam. Our current rule set, you can just catch a kick and sweep the leg. Wow. You see, that was some hard landing from Rupakos. Let's see. Is it just legal? For his opponent, he was out after he landed on the mat. Context of the bow. Wow. What a great fight. I love how humble they are. I love it. Love it. Great victory. Well deserved. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner is with Tejio. Nice. Daniel Viveros. Nice, great. Congrats, man. Woo. How happy he is. The Black Diamond. Nice. Great support from the audience. It's very important. There as well. What does that mean to you? Of course, he must be super happy. 
venía de, de una derrota con, con el ruso y tenía que ganar, tenía que ganar. Por I el, love the scenery lo que yo soy para in karate combat. Okay, I know. Uh, I, was I love the clothing, the makeup, the fans are great. To take a knockout and win this fight because it was so important for us. Congratulations, well done. Nice. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's true, it was very important victory for him. Important fight. He's back on the winning, winning track. Yeah. Nice. I'm Brian Velasbergen and they call me the Rampage. I'm uh, from Belgium, a fight from Belgium. The Rampage. In uh, Holland, the Netherlands. I'm very excited to fight this I love that this event, Karate Combat brings fighters events, from all over the world. That's beautiful. I'm European and I'm living my American dream. I'm, I made it to the biggest MMA organization. I became the champs and as Basur then big inspiration. But love seeing uh, fighters from all over the world, especially from Europe, competing on highest level uh, in karate combat. That's great. I'm very happy with my I will show it to my well. nephew, definitely. I will show him karate combat. Uh, uh, I just put him to MMA like class, feet. but who so knows? To, to beat him. Maybe I bring him to the karate gym. In this karate combat. If right. you ask me, I'm looking for the knockout, actually. Well, there we have it. Karate combat nice. Love the confidence. Right looking for the knockout. Like he's eager for the challenge here. Let's his go ahead first and fight. fight Is his opponent? The Rampage Belgium versus Senegal. Nice, nice. And our first fighters through the portal today. Ryan Van Vasburger in the red corner. Lahad Cisse in the blue corner. Let's go, boys. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Fighters. And there is the tail of the tape for Ryan Van Walter Wade, 185. Um. Can style, as you can see, good reach in 84 kilos. In the blue corner, Lea Sisi, the Black Lion from Senegal. Zero, zero one in Cisse, record. Arctic combat record. 0 and 1 record for him here, so he's looking to bounce back strong. Fighters, enter the pit. Let's go, guys. And we are underway. I don't know what to expect. I feel like it's going to be another KO. First round KO? Let's see. Nice. Yeah, both these guys have Middleweight. There is definitely much more weight behind the punches and kick. To the best. That's right. Very fun to see. Competitive career. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. straight into karate combat, really eager for the challenge that this rule set represents. <laughs> nice movement there. Fixing her, but staying focused. Guys, they have to look good. Nice, great punches, great counter. Whoa, 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 whoa. He fired up. Forget about moving back out of the rich fire line, right? I mean, he just stands there. Yeah, stay there, fight your way forward. Yeah, but it's rolling the dice. Why would you do that? It's good for us. Don't get me wrong. I love it. I think Van I love it too, guys. A little bit different to deal with. Relentless power, continuous strikes. You see, they suddenly came to bring the pain in this one. Gonna go to the body, trying to change up those target areas. If CC would have, Not that many punches uh, to the body, that's right. You know, I would expect more like from karate yeah, fighters. Then, uh, I think we be even a stronger fighter. Of course. Uh, Cisse, from now, they, they all want to try. Uh, Outbox opponent, bounce more, more punches to the head, yeah, get the KO, really victory. There. I think Wasbro should move in and out. The Caesar actually should do the same thing. He should attack and immediately fire back. Oh. Nice, great counter. Not bringing that lead hand up at all to, to block anything coming back at you. 
Plus that kick you cannot do a lot of damage with it anyway. So I see Van Vastberger using that lead leg sweep. Nice little oh. kick. It's all about timing with those sweeps, isn't it? If you can catch them as they're moving off balance. Yep. When he steps on his front leg, that's when you want to use the sweep. Yeah, Van Vastberger got his head snapped back there. Yeah. Trying to use the outside, dance around a bit more. See, it's just statuesque in the middle. Yeah, if I would... Uh, be Westberg, should be more in this is trying to be the counter counter fighter, but he's landing some good good punches. Nice. 30 seconds. Let's see who is going to win this round. Nice. Strike and then kick, not kick and, and then strike. Wobble, the hands. wobble. Let's go, let's go, guys. Let's go, guys. Burger staying on the outside here, and Cisse just really stalking him at this point, goading him into a move. Yeah. Cisse is trying to get this counter. Do the same thing if I was him. Five good. seconds left in this round. Nice, beautiful. Whoa! What the kill? What? I didn't expect this one. What the heck? Karate combat. I love it. Love it. Oh gosh. Clearly, the first round was going to Lahad Cisse. That's a great victory. Last second of the fight. Beautiful, man. Wow. Wow. Bam! Just like this. Yeah. Oh, look at this. What the heck? Yeah, that will do it. Light, light. Yes. I can't believe. Nice. Great high kick. We should ask if that actually was his game plan. I feel it here. That was textbook. Gosh, yeah, look, lots of headache for this. But a one shot kill <laughs> nice. from Brian Van Vasberger. Beautiful. While Lahad Cisse gets some much needed medical attention in the pit, we're going to see you in just a few short moments. Fingers are happy. <laughs> nice, beautiful. My name is Mozabek Tibuyev, and I love like adrenaline. I do karate. Я мастер спорта и чемпион России, но при этом я без пяти минут кандидат технических наук и имею несколько прибыльных предприятий. Russian, Russian champion. Miss a lot. Russia is a big country. There is so many competitors. Martial arts are very famous. You can see that you can tell that he is a warrior. За аренду зала, которым владею. I love, I love hearing the story, see who they are, where they live, their families, how they work. Sharing the knowledge, that's very important. Oh, that's really great. Great story. These fighters are a great example to so many kids, teenagers, people who are struggling with some depression or mental issues or big inspiration that you shouldn't never give up on your dreams and work hard to change your life, the situation you are in right now. That's beautiful to hear. Really great. Порой мне нравится думать, что тот удар током был настоящим подарком. И теперь, как боец, я дам волю этой силе. Свидетелями, которые станут все. Teaches you determination, puts you in place. That's right. The question is, will you get up or stay down? Your determination and stubbornness, staying true to yourself, what makes a difference.
Wow. Feel like in a movie. Religion. What a great stories here. And give me strength. It gives me purpose and understanding of universe. Karate, sport in general, bring, bring, bring. It brings people from all over the world, different cultures, different nations. But it ended up being used by extremists. It's beautiful. This wasn't my intention. The Holy Quran teaches that whoever kills an innocent life, it is as if he has killed all mankind. And whoever saves a person, it is as if he has saved all mankind. Beautiful story. The league and signed with Karate Combat, which has been one of the greatest opportunities for me. Now I'm the first one in Karate Combat to hold the belt. I train hard, enjoy martial arts lifestyle, and the results come by itself. Some may think that I'm a serious person, but that's the way I am when I can get ready for a fight. Outside of that, I like to be humble and easygoing person. I was the smallest kid in my class, so I had to fight for myself. My parents gave me a nickname, the Bear Slayer. It's our national hero, which represents our freedom and never surrendering. I like helping people. I earned my degree in sports physiotherapy and work with other fighters to get over injuries. It's satisfying to help out my fellow fighters. But mostly I train. Impressive story. I train for my next fight. I have been in the toughest places. Karate combat shows that it's not only about fighting. It's beautiful. It's about life, not giving up. Myself. Love it. Love it so much. Love the story behind. I bring all of that experience in the karate combat pit, which will keep me the champion. Wow. So excited. It is almost time for our main event. Our champion, Edgar Screevers, 67 kilo golden belt holder. He's had his whole camp outside in nature. He's feeling good. He's feeling at one with himself. But boy, when he gets in there, 67 kilo. Match. Beautiful. Both guys are from Eastern Europe. They are very tough mentally. I know so many guys from Russia, Chechnya, Ingushetia, post-Soviet countries. They are very strong physically, mentally. They never give up. They always go for it. They fight till the end. Super excited. It's going to be a great fight. But I love the story behind. I love the story behind. They both have uh, so much life experience. This is what makes you really tough. Very nice. Yeah, and this guy, he's got great movement. So he strikes and he moves to the side. He stands never at a spot, which actually is going to be really good against Screamer because he's a one dimensional, straightforward fighter. And one dimensional, I don't mean, <laughs> oh, you can't take him. No, no, because he adapts right away as well. But uh, his opponent is really like that. He also has really great movement. Washi gears, roundhouse kicks to the head. He's had, uh, I believe, a seven inch reach advantage in his legs over Screamers. I'm pretty sure that he's going to try to throw a head kick in. Such an intriguing contest we've got coming up for you. It is now time for our 67 kilo main event, that title fight. 67 kilo main event. Let's see what they got. I'm expecting a big fight, tough fight. Latvia. Latvia and Russia. Both guys. He's very strong. Fireworks. I don't know what to expect. I don't see any of them giving up. KO. I'm the champion of Karate Combat and I plan on attacking every opponent who comes in my way. And I'm gonna keep my champion versus with me. challenger. My Russian brother, let's have a good and exciting fight. Us. Nice. The portal opens and it is time. The 67 kilo golden belt is on the line. And what a belt it is, you can see it. Around the waist of our current champion, Edgar Screevers in the red corner, the challenger, Mirza Tebuev in the blue. The Bear Slayer versus the King, who reigns supreme.
In the red corner. Edgar. There we have ten of the tape for our champion. The ten. Defeated on karate combat. He is the In defending the champion. Mirza Bek Tabuev, the king from Russia. Edgar the change, Mirza the challenger. Five inch height advantage, seven inch reach advantage. In Let's see. Games. I really don't know what to expect. Super excited, super excited for this fight. Let's go, boys. And we are going to get underway here. This is for all the marbles. Five three minute rounds, should they be needed. I certainly hope they are. And Screevers immediately goes for the distance. Nice. The challenger is going to the action from the first seconds. Nice. I love that golden belt. Great that body really kicks. Oh, it looks great. great on the black pants as well. I, I like how Elgar is defending himself. <laughs> I'm sure Very uh, close guard. Agree, but he's got to go through Edgar Screevers first. Screevers uh, first. He's moving he's a lot. Nice, great high Tenerife. kick. Range was closing, still managed to get all the way up to the head. Ooh, that was a nice little right kick nice. to the calf from Screevers. I love the calf kick. Sometimes two kicks and it's enough. The fight is over. Nice. What a great high kick. Mir Mirza is on fire. He wants to get this belt. I love the 67 kilo. This is what I said. There's lots of... There is a power, but there is so much speed. And the great... Uh, both fighters, they have great timing. Great fight. Nice. You can expect lots of fireworks. Great, right, good kick. Nice little short, little good kicks from there. the challenger. Nice Whoa! Yeah, following up, really starting to mark up. Nice ride <laughs> from Edgar, from the champion. Really taking a very traditional boxing guard is Screamers. He's reading his opponent. But Mirza is really scoring. He's really scoring, moving all the time. Great balance. And that's a good sequence, body, body, head. Nice. Great boxing from the from the challenger. I do feel having spoken to both these gents, they're absolutely yeah, it's five round five rounds fight, but they putting on work. It was interesting. Tebu have described this as a complicated fight. They both are very well prepared. I bet. I bet. But he was going to find a solution. Yeah, that's right. To keep the pace. He loaded up on stamina himself as well. He said, so that's a smart thing. <laughs> Oh, and that was a lot more power in that left kick from Screevers. The more raw intention. Oh, a bear slayer. <laughs> you know, I asked him about that nickname. And it's best I feel like the fight. champ wants to read his opponent more, so he's taking this this round. Wow, that's deep. He's taking this round slowly, reading his opponent. But I think he will fight the champ. Edgar will fire up in the second round. So a quick break there. Oh, spinning ooh, nice kick. Back kick. Yeah, the wow, game. nice spinning kick. And they're, they're good shots from Tebuev, but there's not a whole lot of sting on them. Yeah, because he's uh, short on him. He's got a longer reach in his arms, and that's why it's not as powerful. So you see when the we have five seconds. And after the last fight, I know everything and anything can happen. Wow. First three minutes down and a nice, good round to the challenger. Very much so. yeah. But I feel like the champ will show. I think that actually the Buev kick may be. Will show to us why he's the champ. Let's take a look at some of the yeah. replays here and There's see if that off. aligns. I saw some really nice short shots. Nice. I love all the spinning kicks. Actually, I have learned how to Ooh, do spinning kick two, I mean, three years ago. I never used that, and I always wanted to like go as as to the karate like and not your palms class and, and, and learn how to do that. They are the best. Karate guys are the best in spinning no, kicks, back kicks. Your your nice. Let's take a look I love the, 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 the kick the behind the punches from the challenger. That's nice. Let's go. Trying to loosen him up, stop the lactic building. And champion Edgar so guys, I love the focus. The bit, followed shortly after by Mirza Tebuev. Champion mine. It would be cool one time, just do not go back to your corner. Sit on your knees downstairs, <laughs> just wait. Let's take that, uh, <laughs> take that uh, respective <laughs> kneeling position. That could be an intimidating factor. Nice, really good 
Low kicks and cup kicks from Edgar. Nice. They have so much respect to each other. Whoa. Whoa. in the pocket here. Five front. Five. I hope they will have enough gas time for the championship round. You know, everything is kind of a predetermined combination. They're going to throw, they're going to get in, they're going to get out. I feel like... And also, Tibbeweth, every time when he punches... Edgar... Angles, the whole time, he punches and he moves out of the way. Very can good find his distance. Because uh, the challenger, Mirza, is moving very well. He's attacking, missing. You know, we know how tough Mirza Tibbeweth is. We've seen and cutting the ankle. ankle. Keep going. Nice. Love it, love it. Good boxing combinations, good kicks. Nice right there. Whoa! Great right hand from the challenger. Nice hook. He's landing these punches. He's doing a really good job. Good. It looks like Screevers has a little bit of a blood. Mirza seems very chill and calm. Great timing. Nice. A little bit of a momentum shift here. I do Pebu have now starts adding kicks to those punches. I think then it will become very effective. You notice, you notice Bass, how Screever's hands are not coming back up to his head as clean as they were before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a lot of body shots uh, from uh, Tebuev as well. Yeah, lovely. Sorry, guys. No, 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 it's a high pace. I, I want to say, man, Tebuev is doing really good, but can he keep this pace? I hope so. I mean, you know, toughness where he... Great idea with the scenery behind. Makes you feel like you can fight anywhere oh, in the world through the punch over the top feel like a superstar the last 45 seconds here in the top of the AD, empire still building us here at karate combat it's great great absolutely glued to this 67 kilo very good fight but i feel like i like the champion he have to do more to win the fight to prove that he should keep the belt yeah, i wonder if that's going to slow tebuev down a little bit like you said bass this is a, an incredible pace to have to do for another nine minutes after this nice good low kick and the whoa that's just surprising down. good just left hand forward. he landed that punch yeah, but the boo have constantly moving, left, right, back, never straight angle back. Ooh, That's right, again. he's all the time moving. It's not getting, getting hit that much. Great run for the challenger again. Very hard, very hard to judge. I, think I feel like it's close, but yeah, difficult to judge, but I feel like the challenger is, is really the winning the fight. Look at the body kick. That might uh, have been the reason he kept his... Uh, you see, it, it, it's, it's guard uh, a little lower now. Very good fight. Nice right hand, left hand. By Screevers. Oh, Tebuev kept his chin up a little bit too much there. Screevers did start to come back a little bit towards the end of the round. Good combination to rattle the Russian. Let's take a look in the corner of Edgar Screevers here as we see out this mid-round break. Still looking focused. Let's go, let's go. That's interesting. <laughs> Maybe I just like ice. <laughs> it is. It's, it's awfully bright in here. Round three. It's a different planet. Fight. Let's go. And immediately Screevers closing the distance again. Round number three. Put out those range finders, try and stifle Tebuev. Good right hand over the top. Watch the heads. I will say though, Bass, both guys have landed. Nice, the champ is making a pressure. Wow, really good body punches. And I think the movement should go to Tibuev. I mean, he's he's constantly moving. I'm talking about it the whole time. Look at this. Punch, punch, and he moves to the side, moves to the side. Nice combination from Mirza, yeah. Very good combination. Slip, slip. Yep. Yeah. And he's out. He's in and he's out. That straight line so nicely does the Russian rolls out of the way. He could get a shot in after he rolls out of the way off that off angle. Wow, that that's be, a good good left hand. Yeah, very useful. useful. Good cross from the champ. Good body punches. Mirza is like losing his, his pace. He's still moving a lot, but 
He's not oh, throwing he that, that many combinations as he was doing in the first two rounds. Might get tired, moving a lot. Great yeah, high kick. Nice. I love the uppercuts from uh, Mirza. He can, he can catch the champ. Nice. Great cross. A great, great hook. Really getting inside Ooh, nice. the, uh, the short range here. This fighting in the phone boot. Halfway point of the third round. Edgar is like a bull, just going forward. But he's landing some good, uh, good punches. And I feel like, wow, the champ is, is taking over in this round. He's throwing, he's landing very good and strong punches. Let's see, let's see. If the champ is going to defend the belt. Nice, what a great spinning kick. Really good. Really good. Nice low kick. I scored first two rounds for the challenger, but I feel like victory can go either way. You are in the middle of the fight. Third round. Wow, what a great back piece. Surprising. Great. Great end of the third round. Good for the champ, Edgar. In between rounds, we've got really nice. Left in the third. Great Champions fight, team. very exciting. Very shortly. And they're still going at the high pace. Not slowing down. Very high pace, all the time. Uh, in abundance here at Karate Combat. Oh man, screams the fight. Oh, look at that. Nice, what a kick. Just caught him on the shoulder. Nice. That meant something. Whoa. What a kick. Wow, the champ is on fire. He fired up. Great round for the champ. I feel like Edgar can prove in the championship rounds why he deserved the victory, why he's the champ. That's great. I feel like the champ breaks the challenger. Nice. Really good fight. Nice high kick there. Yeah, timed it very well. Good combos, good kicks, side. good boxing. Oh, okay, good hooks, but that spinning. Great. Love to see how that landed. Good rotation on those shots. Beautiful back kick, anticipating the movement to just to the left forehand. Oh, it was cleanly with the back of the hand. Very nice. Very good back fist. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Nice. Champ landed very good to punch. Good combos uh, in the third round. Let's see who is going to put on work and victory in this championship round. What's going on? Why they don't let him fight? What's wrong? The fight is over. What, ha what just happened? Beautiful. So the referee stopped the fight. Referee stopped the fight. What's going on? What happened? Edgar Screevers doesn't know why either, but he is going to retain the 67 kilo golden belt. I feel like the champ would smush the challenger. Love it. Is there something broken? Anything broken? Let's find out. As we take a look in the corner of Mirza Tebuev. Wow. I wonder. The champ is patient, well, he's doing his job, to stick to the plan, to get this victory. Nice. By both our competitors here. Very good fight. You can see the respect from each other, to each other. From both fighters. Great. At first. Nice, the back fist, Fury. Let's find out what happened. And still! Beautiful. With TKO. Here we go. So, Edgar There we go, our champion, Edgar Screamers. Stay the champion. Getting an additional gold belt tied around his waist by Karate Combat President. Adam Kovacs. Quit the clan, but Mayla adapt, adapt. Take the fight second by second. Instead, the champ. 
Congratulations, you retain the belt, taking your record to 3-0 and and unbeaten in Karate Combat. How are you feeling? Undefeated, 3-0. I want to thank God, the Creator, Alhamdulillah. Second of all, it feels right. It feels meant to be happen that I'm a champion. There was some confusion towards the end there. We saw you meant to be happen. not being sure of what happened. What was going through your mind? Uh, you know, there was two more rounds and I wanted, wanted to fight. I wanted to finish him. So I'm a little bit disappointed about it. I can understand your disappointment. He came at you with very high pace in the first two rounds. I believe we saw him fatigue slightly in the third. Your stamina definitely an advantage for you today. You know, that's how I fight. I'm the most dominant, exciting, and smartest fighter that, that is there. I can fight both inside Good. and outside the pocket. He's a very know, smart fighter. I'm not afraid of losing or making mistakes, and I'm not afraid of getting tired. I never give up, and I'm just thankful for opportunity to compete. We're thankful to watch you compete. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Wow, I love it. The champ. Humble, beautiful. <laughs> a contender or a champion, really. Ed Descrivers, I think, is going to be a very tough ask for anybody to take him out. That's what I said when he got the title in the first place. I said, who's going to who's gonna do this? But Tebu, if I got to say, man, the first two rounds, he did phenomenal. He certainly did. I mean, the angles that he had, he was connecting, the body kicks, I mean, whoa. You know, it's a very good fight. You were talking about that. It was not up anymore. Was it because of the body kick? You Cannot so wait to see more of... Edgar's fight. It's going to be difficult to beat him. Join us again very shortly when we'll be right back at As he said, he's not afraid of losing. He's not afraid of throwing from the pocket. Beautiful. Good fight to learn from. Hey, I really love it. I want to see more, guys. It's great, it's different, man. Like, I feel like I love the stories behind, like I said, but I love it. It's different. I just love it. I love all these, like, Russian guys, you know. I, I have so many friends from Dagestan, Chechnya, Russia, uh, and I've been training with these guys, and I love the mentality, you know. You, you know me, I don't give up, I never give up, I always work so hard, but you're having a good champions, you know. I love the Russians. Love you all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye.